to you. Jakob, it's been a long slog. We've been hearing about this modular reactor for well over a decade now. When are we going to see it becoming a reality? Well, as you said, uh, at the moment we're looking at partnerships and the development of some of the components, looking at localization in South Africa. So nuclear development is a long-term process. And uh, we're very excited about the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries uh, cooperation. They opened an office last year in South Africa. And with Algeria, it's an African relationship to, to look after the potential needs of energy in Africa. What sorts of partnerships are you looking for out there? What part would Mitsubishi play in this? Mitsubishi has historically been uh, on the equipment side, uh, for example, the steam generator, the steam turbine. and. Um, in, in addition to that, potentially uh, Japan, South Africa, U uh, bilateral uh, on cooperation for, on this technology. So the markets is obviously very important. If you, if you go into this technology development, uh, you can't just focus on your domestic market. You need to get your partners uh, in other uh, ge geographic, um, geographical uh, areas that, that will make sense for you in future to sell the reactors. Well, you're also looking at partners in other geographies as well, perhaps, because the appetite for this pebble bed reactor might be waning in South Africa. I would say that there's pressure. There's obviously financial pressure. Uh, you know about uh, Eskom's pressure on, on the funding of uh, new generation, uh, coal, even coal-fired power stations. So yes, uh, this, this is a global technology. Uh, if you look at the US interests, uh, Canada, Europe, uh, China, uh, Mitsubishi, there's a lot of international interest. and. I don't think South Africa should do this alone. Uh, it is expensive, it's long-term, high risk. So uh, it, it makes sense to get international partners on board. When you talk about long-term, how much longer term before we actually build the first reactor in South Africa or anywhere else? Yeah. Let me give you a sense. In the US, the, the program, it's called uh, the US Department of Energy, it's called Next Generation Nuclear Project. And they're aiming for 2021 uh, for the first reactor. Now, we've already started working on that contract for the U.S. Department of Energy, and the next phase is hopefully coming out, the award is coming out in the next few weeks. So just to give you a sense, we've started with a design for that program, and 2021 is the date they're looking at commissioning. Of course, in South Africa, we have pressure to stop growing our carbon footprints. We have signed declarations in Copenhagen last year saying that we will do so. Mm. Surely the pressure should be on us to get more nuclear reactors and stop looking at coal-fired power stations. It's certainly a very ambitious undertaking that we've given in Copenhagen. And uh, if you realistically look at the reduction, then uh, you look at solar, you look at wind, uh, biomass, but nuclear as a base load is certainly uh, seen by many countries as the solution to reduce the carbon footprint. How about money? And there's been reports in the papers that you are running out of money. You've had 8 billion uh, rand since 1999. Funds are running out. Mm. Where do you stand at the moment? PBMR is not uh, seen in isolation in the country in, in terms of the nuclear uh, energy program. So there are discussions with government and with ESKIM uh, and NEXA to see how we can um, look at the future of, of nuclear energy in the country and how we can support each other. Because there, there, there are many roles that PBMR as a company can play. And uh, those discussions uh, will probably uh, be um, in cabinet in the next few weeks uh, to, to, to say what is the direction of the company, what's the role of the company. Apart from the high temperature gas reactor technology development, potentially fulfill architect engineering role, we have the capability and the skills in, in the company to assist Eskom's nuclear program. Uh, Jaco, as you said, it is an expensive technology, but with the, the price hikes that lie ahead for Eskom's customers, mm -hmm. is it becoming more viable as a solution for South Africa? Certainly, if you look at this technology, it's, it's energy, it's not just electricity. And that's why uh, countries like the US and Canada are looking at this nuclear technology for energy generation, for steam generation. So I think going forward, uh, you, you need solutions for energy. At the moment, uh, we burn coal, uh, whether it's for fuel or for electricity. And uh, we should look at, at, at better utilization of our coal reserves. And uh, certainly the, the uh, viability of a technology like this will improve significantly in future. Your relationship with ESCOM, ESCOM remains a shareholder in the, uh, the PMBR, doesn't it? Yes, uh, ESCOM uh, was the founder sponsor of the, the project, which developed into a company. So ESCOM is still involved, and there are discussions in terms of uh, the role of ESCOM going forward uh, in view of the bigger nuclear program in the country. I mean, if you had to build a reactor here, would you simply become a, a supplier to ESCOM, uh, an independent power producer? 
Well, uh, PBMR as a company is a nuclear design and engineering company. So uh, what we, we come up with a design, we license the design for the national nuclear regulator, and we will then facilitate the construction uh, with components from suppliers. Uh, we don't physically build, uh, we the design and engineering company, but Eskim, for example, uh, will be the customer, and they will operate the plant, if it's in South Africa, at Kuburg, for example. Just looking at the energy situation in South Africa, we have those ESCOM price hikes being announced later this month. NERSA is going to give, say, yay or nay to that 35%. We also have energy conferences taking place. So there is a, a renewed focus on the energy situation here. Uh, do you think we have an integrated enough energy policy in South Africa? Do you think that's something we should be working on at this stage? There, there are initiatives now to by June, July this year to come up with this integrated resource plan. Uh, which is very important because you have to decide on the elements of, of your energy going forward, what's the nuclear mix, and you have to then focus and see what, what you'll do. So, so that's why I say the, the whole decision on, the, on this company, Pebble Bed Modular Reactor, uh, can't be made in isolation. It has to be taken into account. Uh, first of all, the bigger decision in terms of the role nuclear will play in energy, and then the specific role for the company uh, going forward in, in this country. And you will remain financially viable going forward. We did talk about the finances just a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get funding? Will you be able to continue with your, with your project? I, I don't want to preempt uh, cabinet decisions, but uh, we are in discussions now to, to see uh, once the decision has been made in terms of the role of the company, that we then obviously need sustainable funding uh, for whatever role we play in, in the country.